we don't want charity. You know, we don't want charity in Africa. We want investment. We want investment, and we want equitable investment, but we want, to, we want to determine the T's and C's, because we know the T's and C's that come with your loans and your investments, right? We continuously pay for it, we debt always. I'm a king, go what? Think. I'm a king, go king. My name is Femi Shuewo. Welcome to Africa Web TV. After two years, Africa Web TV is back at Africa Dag. Africa Dag means Africa Day. It is an event that is held every year in the Netherlands where people discuss everything related to Africa. Join us as we take a look around and hear what people have to say about Africa. Africa as a continent has and continues to face the inequalities in health, wealth, education and social political dimensions totally undermine Africa's potential to provide its people, its people with basic services. My name is Abu Kanu, and I come from Sierra Leone. Would you tell the public uh, what you make and some of the things that you told me about recycling things? Yeah. This used to be a, a, a table. This is a table? This used to originally. be originally. Okay. So I cut it in this form. You know, I make it like this. You can see uh, uh, a little stock here. This one is uh, from a, a, a chair, you know. I take it. I make a nose. From a Dutch table, it yeah. comes an African uh, mask. African mask, yeah. This used to be a table. Also, yeah. See. What's your view about Africa there? It was fantastic. You know, I, I was really happy, you know, that they can organize something like this. So that we African people, let's don't forget our culture. Let us don't forget ourselves. My name is uh, Milka Yamane. And what do you do? Well, I'm a city councillor for the city of Amsterdam and I am a director of the Lemout Foundation. What do you think about the Africa Day? Well, I'm always um, very excited to go to the Africa Day. Well, I'm not completely objective because I'm also a, a board member of FMS, but even prior to that, before I was a board member, I think it's always a nice day to come together and especially like, uh, um, you know, organize ourselves, but also meet with like Af the Africa diaspora. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it, it almost feels like a reunion, especially because we didn't have an Africa Day these last two day, two years. So for me, um, I always get a lot of energy and, and, and yeah, it gives me new ideas and to see what we can uh, do all together in the, for the future. And do you think when you compare this edition with previous editions, how is it comparable in terms of ambience, in terms of uh, programming, in terms of guests and everything? Good question. I feel that even though we had this, you know, two years of Corona and everything, I am really positively shocked and surprised in a very good way. I like the amount of people that came out. I think there were be uh, uh, organized really great workshops. The only thing I'm missing is the after party tonight.
with uh, Christian Mylot from the One Campaign. Uh, can you please tell me what One Campaign does? So today is indeed yeah Africa Day, uh, which is very interesting to see um, politics and also civil society and then companies coming together talking about these issues. Uh, so what we're trying to do is uh, do a little bit of public awareness, uh, have people sign a petition mainly now on the uh, interplay between different crises because of course we've just had the impact of COVID-19 which had an enormous impact on the African continent but then now also uh, the conflict in Ukraine the way that has affected uh, food crises uh, and of course climate change which uh, will be a problem for the coming years if not decades so uh, we're trying to get uh, signatures for our petition um, that basically calls on leaders to address these issues uh, by investing in global health in the economic response to the pandemic, but also in climate adaptation funds. My name is Mo Hersey. I'm a, a comedian, a TV program maker, documentary maker, and a writer now, author. What is the program that you have today? Well, it, it's, it's always about uh, a lot of intellectual people. Right? It's people that are very much smarter than me, that are ed highly educated than me. I'm a comedian, so I'm the one that makes fun of everybody. So uh, I'm the little bit of light hope in, in of the day. So I'm trying to make fun of everybody and the situations that we are in. So we are past Corona, uh, how the Dutch people reacted to Corona versus Africans, uh, how my life changed as well. So yeah, I will, yeah, I will make fun of, uh, of all of those things. So it will be fun, but yeah, a few jabs here and there to our government that is doing, yeah, a shitty job. <laughs> we should also, of course, talk about the war. Uh, I sympathize with the people who have been affected. Uh, there's a lot of fighting every day and we as Africans are forced to choose a side between the artist Burna Boy or Whiskit, <laughs> who can call himself the best African artist. Uh, I see a lot of people watching me like him. Who is Burna Boy? And who is Whiskit? And I can also see that Mr. Bet Kundes is like, huh? <laughs> I was foreign minister to the Netherlands for many years, but a battle between Burner Boy and Whiskit, I know nothing about that, because who's Whiskit? I'm team Burner Boy all day. <laughs> he, and he, I, I think he will sing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 been struggling with Corona uh, for two years, everybody in the world has, and uh, it took some time for us to make up our minds and to, first we would organize it in April, then postpone it till this date. Um, so uh, we're really super happy that, it, uh, that we were able to put it together. So yeah. We work a lot and we cooperate with uh, many diaspora organizations, and if you look at the uh, at the program, you can also see that because there are at least six uh, uh, workshops organized by, uh, by by diaspora organizations, and we have we put together this year an editorial board of uh, at l about six to eight uh, African uh, Dutch uh, to help us with the programming. Uh, this was new this year, but I think still the concept works, and I think it's a good mixture of people, uh, and and that has always been, let's say the the call to 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 let people interact, to let people meet, to have well, let people have a good time, but also have serious discussions. Although it's political discussions, and uh, mainly uh, also with some culture and uh, movies and things like that, like people like Dadi Kiangi, who's organizing the African uh, Film Festival. So um, yeah, so maybe I don't know. We have to find uh, always continue uh, thinking about the concept.
I'm from uh, Sudan originally, and I am from a tribe called Fula or Pul Fulani. Uh, and in Sudan we say uh, Falata. What do you think of the Africa Day? I think I really love the idea about African Day and uh, we should have every day African Day and every uh, African month, African weekend because I really love it. A lot of people from different uh, um, countries and also from different uh, places, from different uh, jobs, uh, from different positions come together to see. We have we have a problem, but today I saw a lot of people talking about the solution. And that is really, really, really good. And we have to do it always. I learned a lot of things. I uh, met a lot of new people. And I also um, learned a lot from uh, the things that people do. So um, I was buying some clothes from a woman who has a, yeah, a clothes shop. And she used uh, African stuff or African uh, materials to make clothes. And I also uh, was looking at the conversation uh, yeah, where are uh, two people talking about the politics in uh, Africa but also in the Netherlands so that was also very interesting to uh, learn how they look at the same um, yeah at the same thing what is going on I think it's a very good thing to do because it showcases just the beautiful con um, country and like the culture of Africa but it also is it starts a debate on how we move on with thing that's, things that happen in Africa and around Africa and it also creates new opportunities for people I think. It really warms my heart because I was really impressed and actually surprised in a good way because I came here with no expectations. Um, I myself, I grew up in, in a white town, in a white city. So people weren't, weren't really interested in African culture and African history. And the conversations, yeah, they weren't really there. So go to this place and, and having these conversations and seeing people interested in these, um, these problems and um, eager to find a solution and, you know, just loving the culture and everything. I would say uh, it's an eye-opener and really interesting and heartwarming. Um, yes, it's definitely something I would, I would recommend. The West makes military aid readily available to most brutalized countries with the highest number of vulnerable communities. It is easier to get military aid than to get COVID-19 since air of this uh, this is my first time actually to be here and uh, I, I believe the last years I only went to the after party but uh, being here today is such a blessing because I really enjoy the, uh, the atmosphere, seeing people and also having discussion about Africa. So also contributing as a Pan-Africanist, so it's really uh, a blessing to be here. I think it's a nice day because uh, I met with friends and um, I am just from an inspiring workshop about Congo and uh, it's inspiring. I got a contact, someone who is willing to sell the bags that we make in Sierra Leone and I got a number of folders and meet people. I think it's inspiring. The only thing I miss is when you say African day, I was, real, I was, I was expecting a lot of Africans to come but I think uh, that's a missing link uh, but then again uh, the fact that we have Dutch people here interested in Africa, I think that's a, point, that's a plus point, yeah. The first time I went to Uganda, I was 19 years old, and I went there as a volunteer. 
And over the years and since the first time being there, I made so many friends and I got to meet so many social workers, um, and yeah, local uh, locals who do so much good for the community there. So I decided to came back uh, to come back and help them, and I will do the same in September as well. <laughs> and what is your impression of um, the day? Is it? Has it been worth it? Okay, can't you see my smile? I'm loving today. I'm having so much fun and I got to meet so many nice people. And also, this was a great way for me to network because in September I will help um, and um, share my knowledge with the See Them Grow Foundation, a vocational center. And I also got to meet so many professionals and organizations, NGOs, um, and I can uh, help the foundation and get them in contact with the people I met today. So it was a great success for me. My name is Dr. Fredo Chieng. I'm based in Nairobi, Kenya, but I work with an organization called Ripple Effect. Ripple Effect is about uh, transforming livelihoods and uh, changing the planet, you know, protecting the planet. And we are very passionate about working with marginalized communities to be able to give them a voice, to help them to practice so that they can lift themselves out of poverty. And we are doing this in Kenya, we are doing this in Ethiopia, Uganda, Burundi, Rwanda, and Zambia. And very, very proud that we are able then to get people out of poverty. I just think that Especially on days of this, of like this, you know, when a lot of times the Africa diaspora comes together, the energy that it gives me and it, it, we give each other is really something like magic, I feel. I feel always when we are together, uh, African diaspora, it doesn't matter if we're having a dinner or if it's Africa Dach or whatsoever, you know, like it's, it's just this energizing uh, uh, moment that we create together. And I would really want to say that we have to facilitate this. And we have to keep on doing this also by ourselves and see how we can cooperate in many, many more fields. But also sometimes just come together to have a laugh or, you know, to discuss our continent or to discuss the diaspora here. So I would say let's, let's you know, meet more together. Yeah. I'm a king. Yes, I'm a king. I think. I'm a king. Okay.